Hi, Super Spruce here, back with the first episode of Antimera Dimensions New Game Plus 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 R. So this is bas basically what happened with New Game Plus 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 is that the developer got tired of making updates and he tried to make a revised version of it. And that's basically what New Game Plus 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 R is. And I am going to get straight into the gameplay now. So basically, I'm playing with New Game Plus on. So basically, the, the new New Game Plus is a lot more overpowered than the old New Game Plus. Because I get all achievements. Well, first of all, I get all achievements unlocked. But also, there's just a bunch of other buffs. I don't even know really what they are. But... It basically, all you gotta know that it is that it is buffed. So, I've already broken infinity. I can already get infinity infinity dimensions, and I can probably go get all. Oh, the the upgrades are already there. Um, I have all the auto buyers. I don't know why they're all set to buy singles, but that's what they 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 still even just have the. They don't even have bulk purchases. Like this is ridiculous, but. Yeah, it's just... This is obviously overpowered. Because this is New Game Plus. So, the thing is... I have actually haven't really played Answer Our Dimensions in a couple... In, like, almost two years. I mean, not two years, but... At least a year. So, like, I, I kind of got to get used to... All the mechanics again. Which is weird for me to say so we're going going at the auto buyers get auto galaxies auto um dimension boosts it's basically the same so the oh it's not working um oh probably because i need to do this <laughs> and this there we go i can already become eternal at this very early stage in the game so basically new game plus 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 r is like New Game Plus Plus Plus, like almost exactly the same until I think it's like Quantum, which is a bit a bit ways out at this point. Uh, yeah. Well, you can see actually the, you can already see a couple of differences here. Not even in New Game Plus 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 non R. These are here, and these have the same function as, if I recall correctly, I think they're mastery studies, which I think do exist in New Game Plus 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 R. If I if I go all the way down here, yeah, there there's meta dimensions. It's a little cheaper, but yeah, it's basically the same. And then there it, there are mastery studies. So another difference is that between New Game Plus 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 and New Game Plus 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 R is that New Game Plus 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 R, at least apparently, it's, it's supposed to be faster. Supposed to be. Now, we'll see about that, but... I mean, right now, obviously, it's faster because I'm up to whatever, like, episode 10 of regular New Game Plus Plus Plus, and I haven't even done any of the Replicanti stuff, and I don't... I don't know why it was tripping there. Probably just this theme. Oh yeah. And I I already have max replicated galaxies. Yeah, there's a lot of quality of life stuff going on here. And this just makes it really easy. I mean, somehow I'm already getting to E308 Replicanti without even trying. I just, I don't really know about this. And I do need to do some of the Eternity Challenges. Unfortunately, there's some of the more annoying ones. Because I need to get all the stupid requirements first. But it shouldn't be too, too bad. I mean, look, look at my time theorems I can get. And then I can just get this. And boom. We're, we're already to this. And I, I still have one completion. Actually, it looks like New Game Plus gives me the infinities and eternities that I actually need to do those requirements. So it's actually, it's not as bad as you may think. And you could 
Yeah. E19 eternity points already. Like, I'm... Ah. I guess I just reloaded. I did not know... <laughs> okay, I apparently left-clicking and then right immediately right-clicking my mouse after actually <laughs> does reloads the page. I never knew that this whole time. I mean, okay, I am using a different computer, but I am using the same mouse. So, yeah. Um, I'm, I was wondering why the game is slow. That is why, because I forgot to get all of the upgrades. Because I've kind of, you know, almost forgot about all of the mechanics. I, I have all of these. I have all of these. I have the Replicanti stuff. I'm hopefully not forgetting anything. Oh, crap. I'm forgetting time dimensions. That's why it is going so slow. Yeah, you can see it's been a while since I've actually played the game. Also, there's like very confusing stuff here going on. Like, I have basically the effect of Study 181. Even though I don't have Time Study 181, I'm not really sure why. But maybe... I don't... I'm, I'm gonna get the Time Study. It did nothing that just that must be a new game plus thing because i do not remember having stuff like that already so maybe i should go into the eternity challenge i do need to save my study tree which is kind of interesting uh let's go into here time studies let's see if i how if i remember how to do this um presets new preset preset one save and then I go into Eternity Challenge 1. And then I start it. And I should probably disable confirmation because I've done this so many times. And then I just go back here and load. Yep, I know how to do it. So at this point, I'm just going to grind out the rest of the Eternity Challenge 1. They all seem pretty easy. So there, there that it was. It was that easy. It was just click a bunch of buttons and wait, like, a couple of seconds. And, yeah, now I am gaining, well, I'm actually, it's a little slower than I might expect. Maybe it's because of this. So now I can get E60, so that's going to speed things up a little bit. So it's, I don't know why it's 120. I've been playing for... 31 years? No, 10, 10 minutes. I don't know why it says 31 years. That is, I think, a billion seconds. Which is, yeah, more time than basically... Like, it's like, I don't know how much more time than this game has existed for. I think what I should do now is just get, a, get the rest of these of Attorney Challenge 4 completions. I was making a idle preset for the time study thing but just to get attorney challenge four but it looks like that it's actually much better at getting eternity points so yeah there's that but actually i'm still gonna crank out the rest of these completions because they kind of suck and it, it's boring so i'm just gonna cut this out and there it is five completions of attorney challenge four now we can just focus on getting as much Eternity points as possible. Let's see how fast the replicantes are actually. Uh, yeah, it, it's not bad because it's every like one and a half seconds, it's buying as many replicated galaxies as possible. So that, yeah, that, that, that that's not a problem. I also have enough time studies to actually start going beyond some of this. This is useless. This is very powerful for this part of the game. So I'm going to get that. Um, this will just speed things up a little bit. Actually, this is this was less powerful than I thought it was. I thought I thought this was like very OP, but I guess it isn't. But that that that's okay because it's we're still gaining dozens of orders of magnitude of eternity points with each run. So yeah, like there's there's no way you can't call that OP. We're almost to E two hundred eternity points. Now, I'm, we're going to cross E308. So, I do... I have actually played this mod 
a little bit, like a little bit into dilation. Maybe it, I got up to about where the vanilla game ends. And so I, I know that it it's, is very fast at this point, but it is going to slow down once I get into dilation. Because basically all the new game plus buffs are pre-dilation. There are a couple of little dilation buffs, like this 1.01 .01 dilated time. So like that'll cut down some of those time walls, but because this is new game plus 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 and you have some of those upgrades, those time walls really aren't bad. Like it's I'd be hard pressed even calling them time walls. Cause they're, they're barely time walls. It's like a few minutes here and there. Like I and I, I get that there isn't really any faster way to do it, but yeah. Um I think what is this? The, I'm just going to get this just because um, I know this is better at this point, but I, I know that it's going to be more, more better <laughs> later on. And I am, I'm having no trouble cruising through We're already over E3 late turn points. So here, here actually is a notable little artifact from the main game because of how this scaling works. You can't get any upgrades of this upgrade between like E308 and this E418, which slows down. It also affects these. That's why you can only get the second, third, and fourth time dimensions. That is a bit of a wall. Um, it's not really bad at this point, especially since I can get this, and this is the most overpowered of all these. I kind of, I kind of want to get pick another path from first split, so I'm gonna go for that. Just because it, I'm not sure if that's optimal, but it, it can't be that bad because we're already up to E460, almost E500 eternity points. And boom, I can now get pick another path in first split so we can get all the infinity dimension stuff. And this is going to gain us like another 40 orders of magnitude of eternity points. Which in turn gives me another 50 orders of magnitude of eternity points. This this is why this part of the game is so fast. Even in the vanilla game without these buffs. Like the buffs are becoming weaker and weaker. Because a lot of them are just stuff you would normally have in the late game of the vanilla game. Like eternity milestones, um, all achievements, stuff like that. There might be a couple of new... Like there are some new rewards like this and this and this yeah like some of them are pretty overpowered or at least I mean not overpowered just like really nice quality of life stuff anyway i now have 1800 time theorems just get this and uh this and that'll probably get maybe allow me to okay not not quite not quite allow me to get another one of the 900 ones but that but now after i get all these attorney points i can reach 900 time theorems which i think uh i think this is better i'm not sure I, i'm really not sure the optimal order to get this but it doesn't matter and this is why it doesn't matter the same run got all the way up to 900 time theorems so now i don't even need any more time theorems it's just it's really, at this point, just about getting the Eternity Points and getting those last Eternity Challenge 10 completion. I don't know why I thought it was Eternity Challenge 12. So, um, time dimensions, or, the, 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 this challenge isn't, this part isn't even important. The important part is this, which is time dimensions gain a multiplier based on your insanities. It's not even very strong. But I do want to get the Eternity Points so I can... Like, you can see, I actually already have time dilation unlocked. I don't know why I haven't visited this tab before, but I, I, I know I know the reason why I haven't visited this tab before. It's because the first dilation run is just as slow as it is in the vanilla game, which means it takes almost an hour, which is very unlike anything in New Game Plus so far. So, while I'm just gaining eternity points 
let's talk about how dilation differs. So this is the same as the vanilla game. This is the same as the vanilla game. This is the same as the vanilla game, except two of these upgrade two except it seems like it's already bought two of the upgrades. So there's nothing new there. Um, I think all of these are those, these are called Tachonic Galaxies instead of, or maybe Tachyonic Galaxies? I don't know how to pronounce it, but instead of Dilated Galaxies, but I think they function the exact same. So these are all the same as the vanilla game. And this is the same as a new game plus plus plus, except it seems like the cost has been lowered a couple order maps orders of magnitude and it, it basically yeah the tachyon particle formula is stronger basically it actually just did this these two upgrades are the same as in new game plus 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 but they're cheaper that's the only difference so you could see already how new game plus 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 r is different from new game plus 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 also i'm gonna get these the tiny challenge Okay, I've completed all of these Eternity Challenge 10 things, and it actually doesn't even seem all that powerful. This went from E12 to E14, so yeah, almost useless. I, I guess that's like, you know, maybe 10 of each of these upgrades, but that actually isn't all that much. Maybe, maybe it does really make a difference for like dilation, though. It probably is the optimal strategy. If you're trying to do a speed run of this, which this game might actually be fast enough to do like plausible speed runs in a single sitting. We'll see about that. So while I'm still slowly building up eternity points, let's see. Let, let's check out the new achievements. So the thing is that there are only 17 rows of achievements. Here's like the vanilla 13. And there's, yeah, there's only four additional instead of, like, ten additional. These, I think, are, like, all the same as in New Game++. Plus Plus Plus. Maybe their rewards are a little bit different, but they, they start at meta dimensions, which I think is the same as in New Game++. Plus Plus Plus. Um, this might be a little different. And I think, boom, yeah, these all look the same as in... New game plus plus plus. This is the first new one. So I don't know what quantum milestones are. There are, if I recall correctly, quantum speed runs in New Game Plus Plus Plus. Where I don't really want to spoil it, but it involves speed runs. <laughs> that that's what I'll say. And then this one is different. This is beat quantum challenge three, which Quantum challenges are part of New Game Plus Plus Plus, but it's interesting to see this in an achievement. This feels, these feel the same. This feels about the same. This may be a different, um, yeah, might be a different requirement. Um, I, I think most of these are the same until we get to this one, which is Positronic Boost. I don't know what the heck those are because those are not in regular New Game Plus Plus Plus, and. There's, yeah, strings. I don't even know what those are. And there's just more positronic stuff. And three combinations. Um, there's something called pair challenges in New Game Plus Plus Plus. But there's no Omega sets <laughs> or anything like that. Or vibrations. So, yeah, there, there, are, there are new stuff to unlock. It's not going to be as vast as in the regular new game plus 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 unfortunately that that's just something that i will have to deal with so you can see at this point things are starting to slow down i'm only getting about maybe 25 orders of magnitude of eternity points per minute and only a few orders of magnitude per run we're approaching the i want to get to the e1300 because that's where there's another scaling increase in this upgrade and the time dimension upgrades. So 
there was that. It looks like I'm, I'm still able to get 30 per minute sometimes, but not all of the time. And yeah, things are really starting to slow down, which is always a terrible feeling when things slow down in an incremental game. There's no really way to speed things up. Um, I mean, I guess I could have a more optimal time theorem layout, but I don't really see anything I could do. Like this, you can see this is actually now more powerful than this. And even at this point, individual galaxies are, are actually pretty powerful. So yeah, I'm just gonna get up to E1300, then start my first dilation upgrade, not upgrade, run. And then end the episode. Okay, I'm now finally up to E1300 Eternity Points. And you can see, um, yeah, this went from E1300 to E1448. Same with the time dimensions that had their scaling. So it is time to dilate time for the first time. I don't know how many times I said time in that sentence. But this actually isn't as bad as I thought. I'm up to E256 infinity points. I need E308 to get to Akion particles. So this probably this shouldn't take that much longer than like, I don't know, not even like a half hour probably. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hopefully this series can go on for a while. I mean not 212 episodes, but for a while. And peace out. Thank you.